Well, tonight you'll be joined by Nina Carby. How are you, Nina? How are you? Are you well? Good to see you. Good, yeah, good. You I'll hold off asking about David for a while. You can warm up first before <laughs> we get into that, before we get into the heavy stuff. Um, Barry, you and I were talking beforehand, and why Nina here is as well. We want to talk about HRI Equip, and I guess what's been done to nurture and bring through some of the best young talent in terms of jockeys in both Ireland and the UK. Can you explain what this system and scheme is all about? Yeah, as much nurture, but also to support the jockeys that are there, senior riders and the younger riders coming through, as you mentioned. Mm. And jockey coaching is something that has been on the peripheries for years and has never happened. But in the last 12 months it has and Nina's been very much involved. Yeah, so what's what's been going on? Yeah, so we were um, under a, a great coach, uh, Lee Mongan, who's done a lot of work with the uh, show jumping and, and with Keen O'Connor as well. So we got great coaching from him. Um, it did take a while to really, I think, everyone to kind of get under what he was trying to teach us and, and probably get a different perspective of it. But I think, um, yeah, we've we've done like nearly, I think we've done 10 weeks of trial as yeah. well under different jockeys and we've all been given different jockeys as well. So I think, yeah, no, it's it's. I think it's only a positive thing that can happen. It, it, did it take so long because maybe old habits die hard and stuff? And I guess you're used to a certain style, way of doing things and, and you're retired now as well. So I imagine you almost like going back to school a little bit, was it? Yeah, exactly. And Liam actually took a while for to even to try and coach us and what way in to basically teach us and we were just always quite hesitant how are we going to get this across to the jockeys at the moment they've mm. never had any coaching before so imagine trying to tell Ruby Walsh uh, yeah. what to do when he was 20 exactly. years of age tell you where I to go always, I always had a coach <laughs> <laughs> did you? Yeah. Of course I did. I always had that. I was lucky. It was your dad, father, well, of course your dad. Everyone yeah. needs tuition. Everyone needs to be told where they're, what they're doing wrong and where they're going right. Everyone has friends that will tell you what you're doing right. Yeah. But very few people have someone that can tell them what they're doing wrong. Yes. But the angle with coaching is not to tell someone where they're doing, going wrong. It's by asking them the question for them to figure out, do you think you should have waited a bit longer? It's a simple thing. Give them a chance to think, right, yeah, okay. And you know, if you had gone a bit wider for better ground, you're, you're just hopping the ball, but you're, te you're teaching them that when they turn into the straight, they're thinking, what will I do? Mm -hmm. Not will Nina Carby do, or not what Ruby Walsh do, or Barry Gergie. It's Think encouraging them, them yeah. to make the right decision for themselves then. Yeah, to get them into the frame of mind that they can't be relying on me every time. I'm not there to ride it for them. So they have to think themselves and it's to get them basically thinking for themselves. We're all been so lucky. We've come from racing families and I've had my dad, my brothers there teaching me and, and a guy or a girl coming through would have no family history in racing. They need, uh, I think, coaches. Yeah, and, and look, obviously, you know, Ted was there with, with Ruby, Tommy, Paul for yourself as well. But why do you think it's taken so long to kind of formalise this type of, of training? Do you think it should have been maybe brought into school a little bit earlier? Yeah, well, it's easy to say that now, and, but it, it was tested and it was it was trial diffusions, but then COVID came in the middle. But it, there's good momentum in England, there's good buy-in. The buy-in has been great, and Nina mentioned like during her training, she had a number of jockeys and she was coaching them, and she was learning through that stage as well, through those riders picking up on what their issues were and working them and getting on brilliantly. So, you know, you're, you're self-coaching through, through that stage as well. But Lee Moggan was brilliant. He's massive experience internationally, you know, with lots of different sports and events. He was uh, coached a world po poker champion and he never played poker in his life. Yeah. So it, it's, yeah. it's... Yeah, you mentioned the, the, the mental side of things. What about the physical side in terms of nutrition, um, the strength and conditioning, which is a, a fine balancing act with jockeys in terms of making weight and, and the strength that they can do? Yeah, 100%. It's not. It's it's all to do with everything. It's a, a massive balance, and definitely nutrition comes massively into it, and strength and conditioning. It all comes in, and it's, it's definitely something that I think that they're going to really appreciate going forward yeah. and, and for the future. Because, because sports and uh, science, I guess, has advanced all this kind of stuff. Even Ruby, I imagine from, from when you were riding now, the, the knowledge um, base that we have around nutrition and strength and conditioning has come forward across all sports. You would hope so and you would think so, yeah. And again, I was lucky. My mother had me with a dietitian when I was 16. Okay. Um, but look, what we are doing as well, that's going through H H uh, HRI and Equip, the jockey culture and etc. But what the Inter Jockeys Fund are doing mm -hmm. is they're renovating the premises in race and they're building a gym for the strength and, and conditioning. They're building different studios for physiotherapy as well as to use, put in their DEXA scan machine. The simulators will be there for the jockey coaches to use. That's all going to happen through Injured Jockeys Fund funding in race. So it's an amalgamation of everyone in race and working together, which doesn't always happen. No. And to me, that's the most positive thing. Yeah. And bringing everybody on board is, is crucial as well. It's almost like a centre of excellence, which everyone can avail of. It is, and it, it is. the plans are brilliant, you know, and, and it is happening. Um, but everyone's there, and the CPD then is coming in for jockeys where 
apprentices and claiming riders will have to earn 10 points, which is more or less 10 hours CPD. Five of those hours will be coaching with Nina, or Derek O'Connor, Niall, Niall McCullough, Paddy Flood, Robbie Morn. They're in different areas around the country. Mm. But then your other five hours are gained, which are the same as senior riders, will have to put in five hours or gain five points. And that could be tr doing courses, financial courses, if you like. It could be physiotherapy. It could be nutrition. There's lots of different things. But they're the supports that are there now for riders. And the CPD, I suppose, it just encourages people to use them. Yeah, OK. Well, speaking of the benefits of coaching, I presume after Sunday night, Davey had you speed dial to drive back down <laughs> to Cork on his way back. Skin of his teeth, Nina, he, he got did, through. He did, he did. Fair <laughs> to some. Uh, that was the, one of the hardest dances to get, to uh, be yeah. fair. Sam yeah, I know it is. And they were harsh on him. Yeah, they're, they uh, were. Know. But he did well. Uh, yeah. I think this weekend we could see redemption. He's got a Charleston, so I'd say he'd be very happy. All he used to do is be fit and no step. Listen, I know you've been through it and everything, but like I do admire the bravery putting yourself out there like that. I know Barry wouldn't do it. Jane, would you be tempted? <laughs> Time. Not at all, no. I think you'd be more likely. Not a chance, <laughs> you're joking. Two left feet I have, not a hope. Uh, but look, it's been going well from obviously, and, and look, he's flying the flag for racing, so it's great. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, he, he took it on, and he's he's fully embracing it. He's yeah. meeting loads of different people that I met, and uh, yeah, I think this will be his weekend. Okay, brilliant stuff. Listen, thanks so much for joining us, Nina. Yeah.